just about like running an event from a pizza oven, and there's been... And there's a spin. There's trouble. Upside down. Schrader. Schrader's number 25, side over side, end over end. Another car in trouble and also getting airborne. Terry Labonte is involved. His car spinning around on the grass. There you see Gordon in the 24. Okay, he comes up and clips Ken Schrader, his teammate, and sends him around. Schrader's car going backwards. The roof flaps are up, and then he gets hit by Ricky Craven. And then that flips the car over. Uh, he just drove in under. Mm -hmm. and, the car will roll. and then the other cars coming back with all the smoke and people slowing down. They start hitting each other, and lots of cars getting involved. As we see, Schrader's car continue to roll and tumble. Well, he's driving really defensively right now. He's trying to keep Jeff Gordon behind him, and Jeff is working him over. Look at that. Jeff's going to move him up out of the groove and get by him. Well, Bush is around. Can he save it this time? Oh, there you go. He does. He saves it. But there's a Jeff, 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 Jeff Gordon's outside. upside down. Jeff Gordon's upside down. And Kurt Busch's car is destroyed. Oh, my gosh. Look at this long slide for Gordon. And that's Kurt Busch tangled up with him and Jimmy Johnson. And that car still hasn't uh, lost much of its momentum as it goes side over side and comes to rest. We're under caution at Daytona. Michael Waltrip has just taken a stinging sidewinder flyer from the tri-oval down toward turn one. One car got in the back of him and he went for a ride and he's climbing out okay. Under his own power, they're not having to help him out. That's a good sight. Right there, he gets touched right there. Now this car goes way up in the air. When it turns around, you see it start to fly there. Turns completely up and pancakes right down on the roof. That's what did all that roof damage you were talking about. Then it goes into a barrel roll. Side over side, many, many times. Now it's on the nose of the car and then hits hard on the back. That looked much like Ricky Rudd's flip here in 1984 in what was then the Bush Clash. Reports to the team that they may have some slight cosmetic damage of the crash. Trouble in turn one. Oh, car on its roof. Michael Waltrip. Mark Martin is in it. One of the championship contenders. Elliot Sadler, the Bolson on 38. Heavy yeah, damage. That's Mark Martin's car right there, as you can really tell. See, we can see what happens here, uh, BP. You see Mark Martin there. And, oh, it looks like uh, Elliot Sadler got turned by, the by Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, it looks like he got hit by the 48 car getting down the corner. And Michael went over twice. Your middle of three. Come on, 13. You got a guy coming to you. Not over. Keep digging. They're crashing. Roads in the crash. Keep digging. Crashed it up and over. Cass Grala looks to me like will win this race. No surprise to me that exiting the corners when the trouble happened. It just was a very aggressive push. Yeah, it looked like Grant Enfinger was trying to help. Ooh, look at Matt Crafton up and over. There's Johnny Sauter up in the middle of the mess. And a big... Oh, trouble, trouble! Oh, one car upside down. Casey Atwood. And sliding through the grass, Kenson. White and yellow flag. Atwood's car is destroyed. He saw the officials with the caution flag out very quickly as leader Randy LaJoy came to the flag. It's oh, no, down. Oh, what what about straight away. A big hit, around. and Jimmy Johnson oh, goes spinning upside down. Busher. Oh, man. Oh, no. Chris Busher on his lid and lands back on his wheels. Caution. Oh, man. We saw four wide off the corner over there. I was afraid of this. Okay. Now, McMurray in the one, the red car, comes up, just brushes off oh, Dylan. Uh, turns him into the 35. And Dylan yep. gets into Gilliland. Joey Logano turned the 48. 
And Busher goes for a big tumble. I Look didn't think that. that thing was going to stop rolling there for a second, DW. Goodness. Hey, Chris, we just heard Casey Kane talking to his team, Tommy Baldwin. He said the track is getting tighter. Big track. Big oh, track. Big car upside down on the back straightaway. Carl Long has crashed hard. Collected Bobby Lamonti in the process. And Carl's car just took a wild tumble. run out of room back there. I mean, you're probably running well over 150 miles per hour right there in that, that area. A year ago, Morgan Shepard led this race. He has led it today. He finished 13th. He said it was that win. Oh, that oh, oh. out of control goes Kenza. And oh, over on his roof. Get back on the wheel. Looked for a minute like he might save it, but then got down there. Golly, this is tough. Yeah, and Matt really did a great job. If he goes up in front, he takes out 15 or 18 cars, so he did a great job of, of not creating that situation. Good move by Mike Wallace on the inside. The FTP brake Chevrolet back up front. Mark Martin has picked up where he left off before. One car spinning. The car number 41. Johnny Benson. As a car takes a roll, as it slid backwards, the, apparently the air just picked the back end of it up. Actually, the rear of the car is starting to get off the ground. You get a sense of actually how high this car will lift here as it came off the ground and begins to tumble. Higher than some of the scaffolds there where our cameras are located. And Kurt Busch trying to move to the inside and take that spot away and take the lead away from Newman, but Newman will have nothing of it. No, oh, got trouble getting into three, guys. Joey Logano. Big crash. Oh, he's all oh, tied no. down. Over and over, Logano goes between three and four. Oh, no. The car will come back to rest on all four tires. Really just kind of a stack up effect. Like was one of them got on the brakes and kind of forced. Yeah, look at Tony Stewart just missing this crash. Man. Here's where it really gets gets exciting. Man, we talked about that there's nowhere to go as you come off of these corners, and when something like this happens, you, you really have, you make a commitment, and you've got one opportunity really to miss this wreck. Let's take a look at it again. It happened outside of uh, turn two. See some contact between Daryl Waltrip and Davey House, and the car just flew through the air. Well, it got on the air, in the air very quickly. It goes over the top of the guardrail. Yep. Flipped right over the top of the guardrail. But we expect to see a new rule before we raise the oh, more. There's Biffle in the middle of it. Then he comes down off the wall. Thirty-one, I think, would have cleared it, but he kind of got sandwiched. Unless uh, this forty-one car, Kurt Busch, can get some kind of big move here off turn four, like Kevin did. Oh, and there Shots they go! Shots to the wall they with wrecked. the one of McMurray. Three, four cars around. One on its roof. One car hard into the wall. That was it, and it ends in flames and sparks. Our front row sitter up here. He's uh, he's got a torn up race car, Mark seventy-eight Trish, car. Yeah. McNard, Menard had a fast car all day long, and here comes McMurray, and he just gets a little bit of piece of that 48. Lot white happened in the Unlimited. Looked like Jimmy's car just got loose and spun. Look at Clint Boyer in that 15 car get up in the air. Thing went all, it did a 360. Unbelievable. Did a barrel roll and came right back down on its wheels. Look at Jarrett in the green car. He jumped down the inside. He's putting him up in the third place. 
while ago we saw Jarrett and Earnhardt were capable to pull away a little bit. They're trying to oh, bring it in. Trouble behind Rusty Wallace is turning over. Rusty Wallace, 20 feet in the air, spinning, crashing. Well, I'll tell you, when they're running that close together and jockeying around position, you just know that things like this are going to happen. The 66 car right behind Walter looked like they tapped, they touched yep. right there, the 66. 66. And, and then the Rusty, he gets clipped right there, turns sideways, and we know what happened after that. The air gets another car. Yeah, it looked like the 66 and, and the 30. Got to look at Rusty's car, how high in the air. Real violent flips right here. Keep it behind you, keep it behind you, keep it behind you. One to go, one to go. The white flag is out. They're going to crash. Sauter with a big run. They're crashing. Christopher Bell upside down. Very fortunate that these trucks are as safe as they are. Look at this truck just get out of control. Probably about the fastest part of this speedway feel right out of the trioval. Mm -hmm. It just starts tumbling. That young man with his dirt racing background, I'm sure he's had many barrel rows in his career, but none like that. Well, that's why he's doing what he's doing. He's just mirror driving all over the racetrack. Uh oh, oh, no trouble. Elliot Sadler over once and a half and on his roof. Now the car tumbling hard on the pavement in turn three. Caution is out. A terrible crash. Okay, man, okay guys, back it down, back it down. We're not racing. Watch again. Junior makes a move to the left to block. Sadler turns to the left to get 